OSIRIS is an interreg project. Um, we are six regions and one municipality working together in the project. Um, and the aim is to learn, contribute together here, share good practice about open innovation and uh, social innovations. working both in, in small groups interacting on, on special themes and we also have been working in open mean traditional more or less one-way communication and questions after that. In Fundao you have a really interesting living lab. What do you do in your living lab? Yes, um, now we are creating an ecosystem for innovation, for a network, a networking business and we are uh, now uh, making progress on involving stakeholders and creating a, st a stakeholder group to enforce, to enhance the Living Lab uh, strategy. How do you engage people, citizens? companies, uh, organization in the work to make the region a better place where everyone gets a better everyday life. That's what's about in Osiris. A lot of people just ask about the hard facts. I mean, uh, how many companies, how many services, and how many, and so on and so on. But it's, we think it's really important to, in some way, measure the soft values. I mean, how much better feel people, how, how is attitude changing, uh, do the politicians realize what's really happening out there? What Do they know what needs the citizens have? Well, we're here really to share with the OSIRIS project because they have a great method, this innovation loop, of helping people innovate and design. What we're really interested in is actually how you measure what you design, how you can see the impact of what you're doing. So we're really trying to bring together so we can create a methodology and approach that benefits both projects and both the benefits all of our different stakeholders that we can co-create together, co-develop and then use to really achieve our ends of achieving better services for all the community. This was the first kickoff meeting here in Lyxle um, during those three days. And next meeting is in Vasa in Österbotnia in Finland uh, in September. And then after that we have so-called co-creation workshops where we meet around some area, some subject uh, that we work around and we try to learn and share about different models and methods about uh, social and open innovation.